another day another data download on global so let's talk about it in this video first things first a huge shout out and thank you to Zahal on the Dokkan subreddit for compiling all the information in one place and making my job so much easier. Now, as far as new cards go, we've got a lot, starting with the STR Gogeta EZA and the AGL Kid Boo EZA, both of which I'm extremely excited for. And they should both be dropping on February 25th or next Monday, which is also when the Gogeta Extreme Z battle drops and the Kid Buu Extreme Z battle should return as well for those Kid Buu medals. And number three, we have the free to play SR Kid Goku from a new event. And yes, this is the Kid Goku that eventually will become a free to play LR. And the SSR Kid Goku at number four is just the awakened version of that SR Kid Goku. And number five, we have the physical Chi Chi Youth. Honestly, I thought she was already available on Global, but I guess not, so we're getting her, which is cool. Number six is Int Videl Rebirth, STR Pan Rebirth, AGL Mai Rebirth, and Tech 18 Rebirth. All four of these waifu cards are getting awakenings on Global, and uh, they're all really good, which I will cover in just a second, but I'm extremely excited for that. Number 10 is a new Int Rebrian, who's going to be part of the waifu banner that we're getting. At number 10, or number 11, we have LR Super Saiyan Vegeta a new prime battle LR similar to the LR trunks. So another huge, huge grind, but a very, very good card, really cool looking super attacks. And uh, it's gonna be worth it. The grind's gonna be worth it. Number 12, we have the free to play STR Rebrian Rebirth. And uh, her rebirth is pretty insane as well. So stay tuned for that. And if you scroll down just a little bit, we have new missions. Uh, let me just scroll down a little bit more so my head is, isn't covering it. One, tons of new missions here. Basically, complete the new event, Super Attack 10, etc. Also, Dokkan Awakened Units, etc. You can check them in game once they go live. A lot of them don't start until uh, March 4th. And also, the Tech Bulma event returning, Great Saiyaman event is returning, and the Raditz event is returning on March 4th, which of course leads us into our next world tournament. So, basically, uh, the Gogeta EZA, AGL Kid Buu EZA, the free to play SR Kid Goku, as well as the SSR Kid Goku, and I believe the physical Chi Chi all drop on the 25th of this month. But as far as the rebirths go, and the LR Super Saiyan Vegeta, we'll have to wait until the beginning of March, not too long, just like a week later. But that those are going to take a little bit longer to drop in the game, so I guess they're just downloading it now just to be early but either way uh it's not gonna be too big of a wait so if you guys only wanted to know what was part of the data download that huge you know file we downloaded last night uh was then that's pretty much the video for you You can click off if you want maybe leave a like before you go but if you guys want to know what all these cards do i'm gonna do a little overview of each card now just so everybody is uh filled in so let's start with this right here, the number one thing I think most people are the most hyped about, at least I am, <laughs> and that's the STR Gogeta Extreme Z Awakening. So his leader skill becomes all types key plus three, HP attack defense plus 77%, so a very good rainbow leader. And as far as the super attack goes, causes immense damage and lowers attack and defense. So he gets that extra debuff to the enemy now. Passive skill, overwhelming strike, attack and defense plus 77%, attack plus 7% per rainbow key sphere obtained, attacks effective against all types. So I know that doesn't seem like a huge boost, but considering how high this Gogeta's attack stat is, combined with the fact that he also gives himself additional attack for rainbow spheres, and he's also effective against all types, means he's going to do an extremely, extremely high amount of damage. He will out damage int Gogeta, um, I believe just like at all dupe levels like like if he has no dupes and Inkojita has no dupes he's gonna do more damage both rainbowed he's gonna do a lot more damage so yeah rip Inkojita you've served us well but it's time to make way for the OG king okay <laughs> link skills I mean, I'm not gonna cover that because they stay the same fusion movie heroes and all that good stuff so uh, he's gonna be really 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 good now EGL Kid Boo, a little bit uh, less hype if you ask me, but still really good. And compared to his old self, his former card before the Extreme Z Awakening, huge, huge upgrade. So, um, leader skill is AGL types, key plus two, HP attack defense plus 70%. 
Supreme Damage greatly lowers defense, and his passive nice now recovers 14% HP at the start of the turn, which is a pretty good passive uh, as far as the healing passive goes. Attack plus 14% and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained. He didn't have any of that before the Extreme Z Awakening. Before it was just recovers 12% at the start of the turn and that's it. So he got a higher recovery as well as now attack and defense. So he's a pretty solid nuker. And uh, he's also in four categories, which I didn't notice before, which is pretty good. And that's pretty much it. So that is AGL Kid Boo. Huge upgrade, like I said. If you guys have him, then he actually might be usable. Maybe you can run him on your Extreme AGL team, your Majin Buu Saga team, whatever you want. But uh, good, good easy A, good easy A. Okay, now we have this SR Kid Goku. Like I said, he is the one that's going to awaken into an LR eventually. But this is what we got for global so far. Dragon Ball Seekers, category key plus 2. HP attack defense plus 30%. Nothing too crazy. I'm guessing that's going to go up to like 70%. Key plus 3, 70% when he becomes an LR. His super attack is going to be Paper Rock Scissors. Causes supreme damage to the enemy and seal super attack. And his passive is every color of the rainbow. Randomly changes the key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres. So he's self-sufficient for rainbow key spheres and attack plus 10% and key plus 2 per rainbow key sphere obtained. Of course, he's going to awaken again later when we get a second part to this event. And uh, probably a, quite a ways down into the future, we will also get a LR awakening for them. And uh, I don't know what that's going to look like right now. I don't think JP has that either. So that's going to be exciting. That's going to be interesting. Okay, so that's the Kid Boo. Sorry, that's the Kid Kid Goku. Kid Goku. I don't know why I said Kid Boo. Probably because I just talked about Kid Boo. But this is the physical youth Chi Chi. And uh, her passive, I actually never noticed, is kind of insane. Okay, so I mean, her super attack doesn't really matter. Her leader skill doesn't really matter too much. But her passive out of the frying pan into the fire gives her attack plus 180% when performing a super attack, but attack minus 60% for three turns after receiving the attack. So it's kind of a double-edged sword, her passive, where she has an insane boost, but she also gets a pretty bad debuff when she gets hit. Either way, uh, if you keep her safe and she doesn't get hit, she doesn't get that debuff, she's actually going to be outputting quite a bit of damage. Of course, she only gets a supreme damage multiplier and her attack stat isn't going to be very high. So don't expect like millions, but I can see her hitting for over a million pretty easily. So that's a cool card right there. I'm guessing she's going to be part of the, or maybe featured on the waifu banner we're getting with the int rebrand too. So there you go. And uh, let's get into these four waifu rebirths. They all got really good rebirths. And uh, I believe I have all of them duped out myself. So that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> They're actually usable now. So for the Videl, her uh, leader skill, you know, I'm not going to cover leader skills. They all got okay type leader skills, but you're probably not going to be running them too often as leaders. Super attack, supreme damage to enemy and lowers attack and defense. Her passive is attack and defense plus 15% per Pepe Gals category ally on the team. So if you have a full Pepe Gals team, that's 7 times 15 uh, 100%, right? 105%? I think that's 105%. So 7 times 15, 105% attack and defense. Really good. And uh, attack enemies, def attack, attack enemies, attack. Oh my god. Minus 20% for two turns. Recovers 20% of damage dealt as HP. So she debuffs the enemy's attack. And she also will get a pretty good attack and defense boost of 105% on a full Pepe Gals team. And in addition... It will recover HP for your team. So, like I said, really, really, really good. Next up is this Pan. And Pan now will get chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack, plus 15% at the start of each turn. So after four turns, it will max out at 60%, which is very good. Only 10% less than MUI Goku. Imagine that. Pan having only a 10% lower chance of dodging than MUI freaking Goku. But anyways, <laughs> attack plus 70% and defense plus 120% for 7 turns from start of turn. So she's going to be somewhat tanky and uh, damage output is going to be okay. So there's Pan. Next on the list is this AGL Mai. And Mai gives all allies key plus 3. AGL type attack defense plus 20%. 
and Pepe Gal's category allies chance of reporting a critical plus 10%. So she's going to be the support unit of that Pepe Gal's team, but she can also be a very good support for an AGL team as well. Now, I think her awakening out of the four waifus is definitely the least exciting, but this still makes her very usable. Not to mention, she also gets a great chance of stunning the enemy, which could be clutch in certain situations. So that's AGL Mai for you. And last but not least, we got my personal favorite, Tech18. If for nothing else but the art, I mean, she's sitting on a freaking horse. That's that's awesome. <laughs> Anyways, her super attack causes supreme damage to enemy and raises attack and defense by 30% for 6 turns. Her passive, feeling good today. Attack and defense plus 14% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 1% per Peppy Gal's ally on the team. So let's say you're running a full Peppy Gal's team. That's an additional 7% attack and defense on top of the 14%. So on a certain turn, if you give her like 10 e spheres, that is a total boost of 210% to attack and defense. She's going to be an absolute monster. I'm going to be rainbowing her as soon as possible. So keep an eye out for that showcase, guys. All right, so that's Tech 18. And uh, next up, we have this Int Rebrianne. She is by far, well, not by far, but definitely the best Peppy Gals leader you can run. Peppy Gals category key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. Once she awakens, maybe it'll go up to 150%. We'll have to see. Maybe 120%. 150 would be nice, though. And uh, super attack is big. Amour causes supreme damage to enemy and steals super attack. Passive is sweet flowers of bloom on the battlefield. Raises attack defense by up to 100%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost. All enemies attack minus 5%. Her Peppy Gal's category ally on the team up to 15%. So she's going to be a good card. I'm excited to see what she's going to look like when she awakens. But there's Int Rebrianne for you. And we also have the Prime Battle LR Vegeta. Ah, oh, man. I can't wait to grind out those 777 medals. Honestly, I'm dreading it. But like I said, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. Leader Pure Saiyans category key plus 3. HP attack defense plus 70%. Big Bang, bang, big bang attack. Greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. Passive is Prince of the Saiyans returns. Attack plus 15,000. Defense plus 20,000. Plus an additional attack plus 15,000. And launches two additional attacks for four turns after receiving an attack. Links are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prodigies, Saiyan Pride, Royal Lineage, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. Okay. This is the final card we're going to talk about in this video. Seems appropriate to end on Rebrand considering how many waifus we're getting in this update. This is the Awakening for the SDR free-to-play Rebrand. And uh, like I said, it's pretty wild. So her leader skill becomes Peppy Gal's category key plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 88%. Of course, they had to make it lower than the summonable Int Rubrian. So I understand that. Super attack causes supreme damage to enemy and lowers defense. But her passive gives her attack and defense plus 20% per category or Peppy Gal's category ally on the team. So if you think about it, 7 Peppy Gal's, that's 100 and 40% to attack and defense, guys. So an insane buff for a free-to-play unit. And she also recovers 8,888 HP per Rainbow Key Sphere obtained. And I believe her links stayed the same. If not, maybe one or two got swapped out, but it doesn't really matter. There is the STR Rebrian Dokkan Awakening for you. And uh, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited, honestly. I'm pretty interested to see how well this uh, new and improved Peppy Gals team runs. And uh, I will definitely be rerunning the Peppy Gals um, Super Battle Road stage just to see like how much easier things are now that I have the awakenings for Videl, for Tech 18, for Pan, for Mai, and also for the Rubrian. So uh, that's going to be dope. That's going to be dope. So that's all the updates we have for you today. Um, ton of new units, like I said. Let me know which one you guys are the most excited for. Like I said, I mean, <laughs> I can't go wrong with STR Gogeta, but 
I'd say number two for me definitely is the Tech 18 followed by LR Vegeta. Probably an unpopular opinion, but you guys know how much I love 18 and uh, it is what it is. So <laughs> that's it for the update. That's it for the video. Hope you guys find it useful or at least a little bit interesting. As always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, if you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, also hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.